Alright, this video is going to teach you how to make a simple form calculator. Um, first, you're going to want to click New Project, and we're going to open a Windows Form application with the name of Calcu Calculator Tutorial. Hit OK. Um, and then a uh, form is going to pop up. It's going to be named Form 1. This is going to be our main form that's going to open up when we run our program. So, first thing we're going to do with this form is to rename it. To rename it, we're going to go over to our Properties bar. Um, if you do not have a Properties bar, you can go to View, Properties window. Um, but you're going to want to make sure you click on Form 1, go over to the properties and find where it says text. We're going to name this calculator. Alright, first thing that you're going to need to do is go down your tools and find button. We're going to need one button for now. We're going to place the button anywhere, it doesn't matter for the time being. We're going to scroll down and we're going to find a text box and place the text box up here. We're going to need two of those. Let's just go ahead and drag them up there. Put them somewhere by each other. And then you're going to need a third one. All right. Now we're going to need to know what these are and to tell whoever's using it what they are. So you need to get a label from the toolbox. It has an A icon. And you're going to need three of those to label each one of the text boxes. You can line them up using the little blue lines. Oh. You line them up using the blue lines and they'll get nicely straightened. Um. Label 1 is going to be called first number. That's going to be the first number we are adding. And that changes the name there. So we're going to have to adjust it now. Label 2 is going to be second number. And Label 3 will be Solution. So, so far we have Solution, first number, and second number. And we have our button. We're also going to change the name of button. We're going to change the name to Calculate. Now, we're going to do the coding. And to do the coding, you're going to double click on calculate. So, the first thing we need to do is to declare our variables. Um, we're going to be adding first number from this text box and second number from this text box. You need to know the names of your boxes. Names are displayed in the properties sidebar. Your name right here is text box one. The second text box is going to be text box two. So you can rename those, but you really don't have to for a small program like this. So you're going to add text box one and text box two. Go to your coding. First thing you need to do is to declare your variables. You do this with dim variable name as double. Now, what double does is just tell that it's going to be a long string. Dim is dimension. It's the way of starting to declare a variable. Don't worry about the underlines. Those are going to be fixed here in a couple seconds. You're also going to need to dim b as double. 
and then now that we have our variables declared we need to say what a and b are so we're going to put a as text box one dot text so now that assigns our first text box as a we're going to assign b to text box number two and remember to put dot text or you will come across an error now we have our two variables and telling what our variables are from now we need to get our solution here printed out so text box three dot text is going to equal a plus b make sure to put parentheses around it just in case now this is what it should look like your coding variables declared telling where the variables are from and where your solution is going to be your solution is going to be in that text box 3 we're going to save this just save it as whatever calculator tutorial now you can either hit the F5 button or at the top window click the play button the start debug button now as you can see we have first number put in any number second number any number hit calculate and it comes up with our solution now this is addition you can put whatever you want in there oops you don't put anything in the last bar because that's where it's going to put the solution at so that's our basic calculator um, if you go to part two of this tutorial I will teach you how to make it multi command you could do subtraction and division and stuff but that'll be in part two thanks for viewing